Hello everyone. I wanted to take the time to talk about something that's really important to me. Now yes, it does relate to superheroes, but it's much, much more than that. Because I'm a big fan of storytelling, and I know that you're a big fan of good stories. And that's going to be kind of like the theme for this, this week, depending on uh, what we're able to produce here on Brohood Productions. But I want to talk about something that is near and dear to my heart, and it happens to be associated with superheroes. Alrighty, I haven't recommended books in a really long time. And today is kind of special because I have recently encountered this author called Brad Meltzer. And he has this illustrator, Christopher Iliopoulos, if I've even said that correctly. Now, I recently was able to read... The I Am Jackie Robinson, the I Am Amelia Hart, and I Am the Neil Armstrong. And I thought these were really great written books, uh, especially for kids. But then I discovered that uh, Mr. Brad has written these books about superheroes. So this becomes my message for parents, and in turn it kind of becomes my message for kids. One of the biggest things that I think is really important as a nerd and as a father and as a husband is making sure that I'm doing my part in helping my kids understand that they too are their own heroes. And I really like that that's like the main message that is talked about in these books. Um, Yes, the Neil, Ar Neil Armstrong one and the Jackie Robinson one and the Amelia Earhart one had all kind of the same idea. They were still really fun. So for one, it served the purpose that you could read with your kids. Second, uh, as your kids get older, these are great books to help them learn how to read. But in another sense, they really help you get to know who this person was. Now, I'm not saying they're the greatest autobiography books or anything like that, um, or I should say biography books, but they're, they're, they're geared towards that audience. And I thought it would be great to pair the, the stories of real life people, like one of my favorites, Jackie Robinson, with these fictional characters. And so what I really liked about the Batman one is that he takes on sources um, that you're pretty familiar with if you're a big fan of Batman. And it just goes through and details who Batman is, what Batman does, and what Batman means. And I thought it was really cool. It, it, it's engaging for kids, and it's, it's uh, somewhat easy to read if, if they're at that grade level. But the, the best experience about these is the type of story that Brad is basically writing and sharing with the audience. Alrighty, so I am highlighting this one kind of on purpose. <laughs> um, I know it hasn't been the greatest video. I'm just, I have a lot on my mind and I just want to be transparent and honest with you guys here as one of the co-hosts of Prohood Productions. Um, I love superheroes. Doesn't mean you have to love superheroes. I love movies. Doesn't mean you have to love all the movies. Neither do I. Uh, there are great people out there trying to be great at their craft. And one of those things that I have enjoyed all of my life has been superheroes. And I know that's not the thing that parents want their kids to read. They don't want them to read comics and all those type of things. And maybe you do. Maybe you do want them to get to know superheroes. Maybe you yourself are one of those fans that are hoping that your kids will get integrated in it. Now, I've had, I've had the great blessing of my kids being able to recognize different superheroes as they watch uh, animated movies, shows, and even live action shows regarding these, these fictional characters. Now... This particular one uh, made me choke up and um, not afraid to admit that. But the reason I bring it up is because of one of the points that I made earlier. It was a beautiful moment 
to take a character that my kids know who he is because of dad and to be able to read it at somewhat at their level of understanding and be able to read a story about a character that teaches a good lesson. So I think it's a great way for any of you who are trying to help your kids go in, uh, get into the fandom uh, in a very, maybe not sheltered or protected, but in a very clean and wholesome type of way because it's not like every single comic out there is for kids. But what I really enjoyed was reading this with my kids, spending this time to read stories with them. We want them to be productive. We want them to be engaged. And there's a reason why we pick up a dinosaur book, why we pick, pick up an airplane book, why we want them to learn about things. And while this is a fictional character and it does have fictional elements and does tell, tell a really good moral of a story, one of the most beautiful things about this experience was being able to read it with them. So parents, kids, I do recommend these I Am books by Brad Meltzer. I think they're good. I am going to get the Superman and Batman and Jackie Robinson in the collection. I, I didn't even know there was a Wonder Woman one. So in the end, after all of this really long spiel, I thought it was important for me to take the time to share that there are ways that we can interact with our kids. And in the most important ways is to spend time with them and read with them. There's nothing wrong with a the show. There's nothing wrong with going outside. There's nothing wrong with reading books. All of them have their benefits. Um, some other than others have their disadvantages. But I really enjoy the experience of reading with my kids and being able to read a, a story about a character that I really care about. And it was fun learning about Superman in a way that was meant for kids. It was cool. And it reminded me of everything that I love about the character. And like I said, it, it was really drawn on inspiration that as you as an adult would probably be really connected to. So that's my long message for you guys. I hope you watch, uh, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And hopefully we can all uh, experience this fun together as movie lovers, comic book nerds, superhero lovers, uh, all the above. So I hope everything's going well for you guys this week. Catch you next time.